In this session, you're going to learn a couple things. What the common attack vectors are and known vulnerabilities to understand and use in this cybersecurity framework to identify, assess, and reduce cybersecurity risks, which measure to deploy, to detect, mitigate, and prevent attacks, to customize and deliver cybersecurity awareness, training, and education material, and to effectively manage new and evolving risks. Before we get into the detail, um, one thing that I wanted to do is just go over some of the recent losses uh, and breaches that have taken place from a state standpoint. Uh, I like to do this as I go through the presentation just to let you see what's going on out there, um, what type of breaches are taking place, and also how large the breaches are. If you notice on this screen, there's a couple different states here that we pulled some information from for South Carolina and Utah, uh, also the Washington State Administrative Office. Um, where you can see that there have been numerous uh, breaches at the state levels, uh, some of them very large and number of records that have been lost. And we'll go through topics today and talk through this and how to protect this from happening. <clears throat> Another thing to consider the threats, um, the total number of records containing sensitive personal information involved in your security breaches was over 608 million records since January of 2005. The malicious attacks accounted for nearly 47% of the records breached in 2012 in the United States. So what that's saying is there are actually malicious attacks taking place, not uh, accidental losses by employees. Uh, it's actually the bad guys or the hacking industry that's out there that are trying to uh, take control of and or get access to your confidential information. The government agencies have lost more than 94 million records of citizens' information since 2009, and the average cost per loss or breach record is roughly $194. Now, if you tie this in with some of the strap resources that are happening at the state and, lo state and local government and the budget guts that are taking place, um, this creates even a bigger issue. Since the cybersecurity threats are growing, and budgets are being cut and, and held back, it creates a void for being able to implement the appropriate policies, procedures, and frameworks to protect against lost records. We'll discuss that as we go through the presentation today. 